السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ آئی ہوپ یو آل آر ہیپی اینڈ ہیلدی سو مائی ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس ٹو ڈے وی ول لرن اے نیو ٹاپک برڈس یو کین سی ان دس پکچر دیر آر سو مینی برڈس آن اے ٹریز آن ڈفرینٹ برانچز سو وی سی مینی برڈس اراؤنڈ اس برڈس سچ ایز پیجن crow sparrow and parrot they are commonly seen so let's learn more about birds birds are feathered living beings birds have a pair of wings birds have a tail which help them to fly birds have their strong muscles which help them to move the wings these muscles are called flight muscles see the body part of muscle the parts of bird i beak head body leg tail wing feather these are the parts of bird see the body of birds are designed in a way that help them to fly it is shaped like a boat the birds have a pointed head and a beak which help them to cut through the air so this is called streamlined body this makes it easy for a bird to fly the body of a bird is light because it is made a made of hollow bones the skeleton of a bird is very strong this helps to it's to fly easily for a long period of time and the tail of a bird helps it to change the direction while flying now see how does a bird fly a bird lifts its body up in the air by flapping the wings a bird in flight as you can see in the picture bird in the flying there are two ways in which birds move their wings a down stroke and up stroke as you can see the different picture of different movement of a bird see down stroke means the wings move downwards and then forwards and up stroke means the wings moves first upward and then backwards when a bird lands it spreads out its wings and glides down smoothly without much flapping so there are over 9000 different kinds of birds in the world most of them can fly there are some birds that cannot fly such as ostrich penguin kiwi and emu these are the birds that cannot fly okay let's learn about the feathers of a bird so feathers are a very important part of bird's body feathers help birds to fly feathers also protect the body of a bird from different weather conditions bird feathers are made up of protein so there are three type of feathers let's learn about the three type of feathers flight feathers as you can see in the in the picture there are two pictures of flight feathers 
C. Flight feathers are large in size. These feathers are found in the tail and wings. These help birds to lift to themselves and provide balance for flight. Down feathers. As you can see in these pictures, these pictures are down feathers. Down feathers grow close to the skin. They help they keep the body warm. They are soft, short and fluffy. A newborn bird has a lot of down feathers. See the next type of feathers. Body feathers. Body feathers, they cover, means these feathers cover the streamlined body of a bird. They also give shape to the bird's body. So, different birds have different color of feathers. Okay, so this is about the feathers. Let's learn about the beaks. Beaks of a birds. See, birds do not have teeth. Birds have beaks that help them catch their food and eat it. Shapes of the beak depend on the kind of food it eats. They use their beaks for picking up things such as twigs for making nests. It helps them to transfer food into the mouth of their young ones. About the types of beaks. Short and hard beak. Short and hard beak. This type of beak helps them to crush the grains and seeds. And the birds Having short and hard beaks are peacock, pigeon, sparrow. These birds having short and hard beak. Curved beak. Curved beak helps them to crack nuts and hard fruits. Birds such as parrot. Parakeet and Macau having curved beak. Let's see the another type of beak. Strong, sharp and hooked beak. Birds such as eagle, vulture and kite. They hunt and feed on other animals. They help them to tear the flesh of their prayer. Example, red, squirrel and snake. See the another type of beak, strong and chisel shaped beak. Birds such as woodpecker, hoopoe and hummingbirds have a Strong and chisel shaped beak that help them to drill holes in tree trunks for making their nest and to pull out insects. Let's see another type of beak. Broad and flat beak. Birds having broad and flat beaks. Duck and swan have broad flat beak with small holes on the sides. These holes help them to eat worms and small plants present inside the muddy water. Muddy water flows out through the holes and leaves the worms and insects inside the beak. Let's see another type of beak. Spoon shaped beak. Bird, a spoon bill 
bird has a spoon shaped beak this type of beak helps it to gather tadpoles and insects from water okay now let's learn about the feet and claws as you can see in the picture of feet and claws of a bird birds have two legs to move some birds have four toes on each foot each toe has a curved and pointed claw at its end birds uses their feet and claws to catch food birds uses their feet and claws to protect themselves and to sit on the tree branches different birds have different type of feet and claws let's see the flesh eating birds birds such as eagles vultures they are flesh eating birds they have strong and sharp claws called talons these birds hold their prey between their talons while flying see the picture of talons these are talons see perching bird who are the perching birds perching birds see crow sparrow and myna they have three toes in front and one toe in back they use their toes to hold on a branch this is called perching this help them to perch or sit on high branches without falling that is why these birds are called perching birds you can see in this picture the toes of a myna now see scratching birds scratching birds birds such as hen rooster and peacock have hard and sharp claws their hard claws help them to scratch and dig the ground and pull out insects and worms now see the toes of a hen the toes of a hen now see the swim yes now see the swimming birds birds such as duck and goose these birds have webbed feeds webbed feeds as you can see in the picture this is the webbed feet of a duck there is a web of skin between the three front toes the webbed feet act like oars and help the birds to swim now see wedding bird wedding birds birds such as cranes and herons these birds have long and thin legs the spread out toes prevent the birds from sinking into the muddy water these help them to walk through water in search of food this moment is called wedding see climbing birds climbing birds such as parrot woodpecker they have two toes that point forwards and two toes that points backward those toes help them to help them to climb trees 
ओके नाउ सी द टोज ऑफ वुड पैकर यू कैन सी द टोज ऑफ वुड पैकर येस लेट्स लर्न अबाउट वेयर डू बर्ड्स लिव बर्ड्स बिल्ड देयर नेस्ट they use twigs grass feathers cotton wool leaves and mud a bird build their nest they use they use twigs grass feathers cotton wool leaves and sometimes even mud to build their nest the nest act as the shelter for the birds it keep them safe from bad weather it protects them from their enemies birds lay their eggs in nest they take care of their young ones in the nest till they are ready to fly different birds have different kind of nest once their young ones grow and fly away birds do not use their nest most birds make a new nest every year let's see nest in holes a woodpecker makes a hole in a tree trunk with its beak the hole is used as a nest as you can see in the picture a woodpecker's nest there is a hole in tree trunk and it used as a nest see nest in rocks an eagle's nest eagles make their nest on the high branches of tall trees or on rocks a woven nest a weaver bird uses grass twigs and leaves to weave a nest on a tree with its beak the nest hangs from the branch of a tree it pulls the grass in and out with its beak as it weaves the nest there is a tunnel shape opened opening for the bird to enter as you can see in a picture a weaver bird's nest okay a stitched nest a tailor bird makes its its nest out of large sized leaves it uses its beak like a needle to stitch the leaves together using cotton threads or threads from a spider's web that is why this is called a tailor bird so as you can see in the picture a tailor bird's nest the nest is stitched see nest on open ground penguin make their nest on the ground with a few stones or pebbles they prevents the this prevents the egg from rolling away this also protects them from melting ice you can see the a penguin's nest okay now let's see the caring of young ones birds lay eggs in their nest the mother birds bird sits on the egg for some days for some days to keep them warm this help the baby bird to develop inside the eggs when the eggs hatch and the babies come out they were they are weak and featherless the parents feed them and protect them from enemies as you can see in the picture the bird is sitting the mother bird is sitting with the young ones to protect them from enemies and to feed them okay my dear students so this is all about birds so
keep practicing keep learning jazakallah khair allah fiz